Hello folks, welcome to the Rockwood Mountain Gardener. Today is Sunday, uh, it's uh, May the 26th, tomorrow is Memorial Day. Um, I wish everyone a happy Memorial Day weekend. And um, I'm talking to you from my office um, today. Uh, we're going to talk about gardening and uh, new jobs. I recently um, started a new job. Uh, I really like it. It is it is uh, uh, it is good. It, it um, decent pay, but it's um, a little bit taxing, um, long hours, which that's good. I'm okay with that. Um, I work anywhere from 8, 10, 12 hours a day. Now, you're going to be asking, what does this have to do with gardening? Well, I'm going to do a video tomorrow of my garden. And you are going to see the results of working longer hours and not having the time to put in to my garden which this is going to be typical to the average to the average person it's going to be um, to where you you come in of the evening and you want to go out in the garden and I do every day because I love I love gardening uh, sometimes I don't get a lot done but sometimes I do uh, but when you work 10 12 hours a day you come home uh, you don't feel like doing a whole lot um, But in the next video that I put up which I'm hoping to get to it tomorrow if I can get my camera to working right uh, Sometimes the batteries just don't want to cooperate, but anyway um, You're going to see the results now A lot of people will Right off the bat say why are you filming? A garden that has weeds in it, grass in it, uh, maybe not the prettiest in the world. Well, why not? Um, you know, you, you go on vacation, you go to these gardens, and it is, oh my goodness, it's beautiful, it's pretty. Everything is just in its place, no weeds, no grass, uh, all the plants are beautiful, no insects. What you don't know is how many people did it take to make that happen. The average gardener, and I, that's me, um, we garden for several reasons. One thing is I like fresh vegetables that is free of chemical, pesticides, fertilizer. I can go out in my garden, I can eat fresh vegetables anytime that it's available and not have to worry about chemicals not have to worry about whether it's been sprayed with something I know I know what's going on with it um, but at the same time uh, you're gonna see some weeds you're gonna see some grass uh, now my garden is mostly about experiments uh, things that um, work some things don't work uh, just for example um, the winter soil system it didn't work exactly for me uh, it does work for other people maybe I'm doing something wrong maybe I did something wrong uh, I did get a few plants from it um, but for the most part it didn't work uh, I believe my soil mixture might have been off. Uh, uh, the canister didn't get wet enough moisture content. Uh, part of it could have been my fault, uh, but uh, it didn't work for me. And I'm going to try it again this uh, this winter, and we'll see what happens. Uh, my seed could have been older, and they are. They they're. I got some seeds from the 90s uh, 
but uh, 1990s. But anyway, uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll get up an, a video uh, showing my garden. But I just wanted to talk to you about uh, about uh, I'm so excited about my new job. It's uh, uh, I drive one hour one way just to get to it. Uh, but I work with a good bunch of people. They uh, they're hard working, um, and it's manufacturing. Uh, I get to do stuff with my hands. I'm I'm uh, all over the plant. Uh, it it just uh, I really like that environment. And um, tomorrow is the first Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day that I have had off in seven years and I am so excited about that uh, retail has been good for me uh, uh, but anyway uh, but I'm, I'm excited about it um, uh, it's long hours but my garden uh, may may take and um, uh, maybe I won't say put on a back burner, but um, it may not get the attention that it needs. But anyway, by this is just a short little video. I just want to take and talk to you about it, and uh, um, I'm going to try my best to do uh, do more videos. I've got a lot of stuff going on in my garden. I'm trying different things. Uh, some things work. Some things didn't work. Uh, but I will go through and I will explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Uh, I really believe in no-till. I really believe in no-dig. I really believe in no chemicals. I really believe in no fertilizer. And a lot of people say, why? Well, all right. Um, fertilizer. Now, I've, I've, I grew up on a farm. I, I know. Uh, you have to have, you think you do, you have to have, we think we have to have fertilizer to make plants grow. Well, in mass production, yeah, you do. But what we're doing, we're, we're killing the ground. Um, the We're doing it all backwards. You feed the ground to feed the plants to feed us. You don't feed the plants to feed us. When you put fertilizer in the ground, you're feeding the plants to feed us. And the plants are taking in those nutrients. What I like to do is I like to feed the ground. Give the ground what it needs. Give the ground its nutrients, uh, uh, natural nutrients, uh, compost. Uh, now I do believe in, in taking everything from, from, the, from, the, uh, from the garden. I don't like to bring stuff in because I don't know what it's, what process it has been gone through. Uh, and I have, I've, I've brought, some, brought in some straw and some wood chips, but I, I'm going to not do that no more. Uh, I'm more. Everything is going to be from the garden. And um, that way I know what I put into it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this little short video. It, uh, I don't have any pictures, but uh, or, but hopefully tomorrow I will get out a video of a tour of the garden. And I just want to talk to you uh, and explain what's going on with me. I've not done a video in a while because I've been a little bit busy uh, trying to take care of some uh, yards and stuff around the house. But anyway, I hope everyone has a happy, happy Memorial Day and let's never forget the people that made our freedom possible. Never forget the sacrifice people have made to make our freedom possible. Thanks everyone for watching and God bless and happy gardening.